Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain how to identify WBC types in peripheral blood smear. White blood cells or leukocytes or in short form it is known as WBC. There are two types of WBC, granulocytes and agranulocytes. Neutrophil, eosinophil and basophil, these are the granulocytes, whereas lymphocyte and monocyte, these are the agranulocytes. Now how to identify white blood cell in peripheral blood smear? First of all, look size of the cell as compared to size of RBC. Here we are going to compare different types of WBC as comparable to size of the RBC. The size of the RBC normally it is 7.2 micrometer. So first of all you have to look the size of cell as compared to size of RBC. Now you have to find out whether the size almost equal to size of RBC, little larger or double to size of RBC, very large as compared to size of RBC. Now you have to find out granules, whether granules are present or absent. So if the size of the cell is almost equal to size of the RBC, granules absent and nucleus it is the oval shape. Then this cell it is known as small lymphocyte. Now if you find a cell which is little larger or double to size of the RBC, see whether granules are present or absent. If granules are present, now check for the number of lobes of the nucleus or the focus over the nucleus. If granules are present, little larger or double to the size of RBC as well as 1 to 6 lobes of the nucleus, then this cell it is known as neutrophil. Inside this neutrophil, you will find 1 to 6 lobes of the nucleus, granules are present and little larger or double to size of the RBC. Alright? Now the second, if you find two lobes of the nucleus and they are arranged in a spectacle shape, then this cell it is eosinophil. So in the eosinophil there are two lobes of the nucleus and nucleus arranged in such a way that it looks like spectacle in shape. Granules are present and larger or double to the size of RBC. So that is the eosinophil. Now if you find a cell which is little larger double to the size of RBC, granules present and two lobes of the nucleus and lobes of the nucleus are arranged in such a way as same with granules on the nucleus. So this is the basophil. In basophil you will find two lobes of the nucleus. Both lobes are arranged in S shape manner with granules over the nucleus. Granules are present and little larger or double to the size of RBC. So that cell is basophil. Now if you find a cell which is little larger or double to the size of RBC, granules are absent. Now find out the nucleus, oval shape of the nucleus. So this cell it is the large lymphocyte. So which are the specification of the large lymphocyte? Little larger or double to size of the RBC. First thing, second thing granules are absent. The nucleus is oval shape. So this cell it is the large lymphocyte. Now if you find a cell which is very large as compared to size of the RBC and granules are absent. Now check for the nucleus. If you find that the nucleus is kidney shape then this cell it is the monocyte. So specification of the monocyte the cell size very large as compared to size of the RBC. Granules are absent kidney shaped nucleus so this cell it is the monocyte this neutrophil eosinophil and basophil these are the granulocytes where small lymphocyte large lymphocyte and monocyte these are the agranulocytes i hope from this flow chart you are able to understand and identify different type of wbcs very easily now I am going to explain the characteristic features and specification of each cell in detail. First start with the neutrophil. Neutrophil it is a granulocytes out of 100 WBC we are able to find 50 to 70 of the neutrophil or in other words in normal condition we are able to find 50 to 70 percentage of the neutrophil out of all WBC. Cell size 10 to 14 micrometer nucleus multi-lobed 
वन टू सिक्स लोब्स ऑफ द न्यूक्लियस एंड द न्यूक्लियस कलर इज पर्पल लेसर द नंबर ऑफ द लोब्स ऑफ द न्यूक्लियस द न्यूट्रोफिल्स आर मोर जुवेनाइल एंड मोर द नंबर ऑफ लोब्स ऑफ द न्यूक्लियस द न्यूट्रोफिल आर मोर सेनाइल और इन अदर वर्ड्स द लेस द नंबर ऑफ द लोब्स ऑफ द न्यूक्लियस द न्यूट्रोफिल्स आर यंगर वंस एंड हायर द नंबर ऑफ द लोब्स ऑफ द न्यूक्लियस द न्यूट्रोफिल्स आर एल्डर और सीनियर सिटीजन साइटोप्लाजम स्लाइड ब्लूइस इन कलर ग्रैन्यूल्स फाइन सैंड लाइक पार्टिकल्स रेड ब्राउन और पर्पल इज इन कलर फंक्शन फेगोसाइटोसिस मीडिएट फेब्राइल रिस्पॉन्स और ड्यू टू रिलेटेड टू फीवर प्रोड्यूसिंग रिस्पॉन्स सो हियर वॉट एवर द सेल यू आर सींग इट इज द न्यूट्रोफिल यू आर एबल टू सी द नंबर ऑफ लोब्स ऑफ द न्यूक्लियस वन टू थ्री एंड फोर इट इज अ ग्रेन्यूलोसाइड सो ग्रेन्यूल्स आर प्रेजेंट एंड द ग्रेन्यूल्स आर द रेड और ब्राउन और पर्पल इज इन कलर Now these are the actual photographs of the neutrophil which I took in the hematology lab during the practical of peripheral blood smear. Now look at this neutrophil. There are four lobes of the nucleus. Look at this. There are three lobes of the nucleus. Look at this. There are one, two, three, four, and five lobes of the nucleus. So all these cells are the neutrophil, and these are the granulocytes. Now eosinophil. Out of hundred WBCs, we are able to find one to four percentage of the eosinophils, or in some other words, the concentration of eosinophil out of all WBC is one to four percentage. Cell size ten to fourteen micrometer. Nucleus bilobed, spectacle shape, purple in color. Cytoplasm eosinophilic, light pink in color. Granules large. coarse brick red in color and do not cover the nucleus function mild phagocytosis limiting allergic manifestations and provide mucosal immunity now this cell which you are seeing it is the eosinophil it is a granulocyte so these all are the granules the granules are brick red in color and do not cover the nucleus and the nucleus is bilobed spectacle in shape and it is the purple in color so this is the photograph of actual eosinophil which i found in the hematology lab look the spectacle shape bilobed nucleus and these all are the granules if you find this type of cell then it is absolutely a eosinophil now the basophil the concentration of basophil is less than 1 percentage very less and they are not able to found on routine basis on a peripheral blood smear cell size 10 to 14 micrometer nucleus bilobed purple in color arranged in s shape cytoplasm basophilic or blue in appearance granules large coarse purple or blue in color and overlying the nucleus function mild phagocytosis and allergic manifestations so here whatever the cell you are seeing it is the basophil it is a bilobed and the lobes are joined in such a way that it looks like a s in shape and granules are purple or blue and it covers the nucleus or it overlies the nucleus all right so this cell it is the basophil till date i am not able to see any type of the basophil so i am sorry i don't have the real photograph of the basophil now lymphocyte the concentration of lymphocyte or the differential count of the lymphocyte is 20 to 40 percentage both small lymphocyte and large lymphocyte now cell size small lymphocyte 7 to 10 micrometer equal to the size of the rbc large lymphocyte 10 to 14 micrometer double to size of the rbc nucleus single very big oval or round in shape central in position occupying whole of the cell cytoplasm scanty sky blue in color less amount than the nucleus granules are absent so lymphocyte is a a granulocyte cell function produce antibodies so here whatever the cell you are seeing that is the small lymphocyte and here whatever the cell you are seeing it is the large lymphocyte see the nucleus it is a single very big oval or round in shape and it is occupied central in position and occupied almost whole of the cell or in some other words Two third portion of the cell has been occupied with this 
nucleus the same thing in the small lymphocyte and large lymphocyte so i have real images of the small and large lymphocyte so here this is the small lymphocyte and here this cell it is the large lymphocyte find out as compared to size of the rbc so all these are the rbc this is the large lymphocyte look at this cell if you are able to see the size almost larger and double to that of the size of the rbc then that is the large lymphocyte look at this cell you are also finding that the size is almost larger to that of the size of the rbc so these all are the this both are the large lymphocyte and this one smaller one it is the small lymphocyte now the monocyte differential count of the monocyte is 2 to 8 percent that means out of 100 wbc we are able to find 2 to 8 of the monocytes on a normal basis or in some other words we are able to find 2 to 8 percentage of the monocyte out of all wbcs cell size 10 to 18 micrometer or even more than it nucleus single kidney shape pale in color peripheral in position cytoplasm pale blue amount more than the nucleus granules are absent so that monocyte is a agranulocyte function phagocytosis work as tissue macrophages so this is the blood vessels and this is the monocyte once the monocyte is circulating inside the blood vessel the cell is known as monocyte but once it is coming out of the blood vessel and enter into the tissue the cell it is known as macrophages all right okay now here whatever the cell you are seeing it is the monocyte single kidney shape pale in color nucleus and it is peripheral in position so look at this this is the kidney shape of the nucleus and it is situated on the peripheral part of the cell so here i have few images of the real monocyte now look at this both pictures you are clearly able to find kidney shape of the nucleus and it is situated on the peripheral part of the cell if we are going to compare the size of the monocyte with the size of the rbc then you are able to see that it is either twice or thrice bigger than the size of the rbc all right so this cell it is known as monocyte